All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rekach Kodash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone who teach and who rule well. And Shalom to the humble, hopeful, fearful elect of you brothers across the four corners of this earth, pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. All right, it's your brother Kabad from GMS Heavy Honor 144. Just coming back with a quick video through the power and the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, this video is edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. All right, and um, as we see on the screen right here, um, I just want to touch bases back on this uh, app that I uh, that I downloaded. It's a King James Version Bible app. It pretty much sends you scriptures every day and every night. And this was a particular uh, script from my uh, last night. And I just wanted to do a video on it. I got a couple precepts. Not going to make it too long-winded, but just getting straight into it, man. Because the times that we're in, uh, as this script is going to allude to say, uh, we're in the times where, where as the script said, we, we wrestle not against our flesh and blood, but against the principalities of, of darkness and rulers of this world, man. And, and as we know, pursuing the Job uh, 9 and 24, this world was given to the hand of wicked of the wicked and, and that wicked represents Esau man so every day you know you gotta you gotta uh, a battle, battle against uh, uh, the, the, this carnal the, these carnal things that Esau pushes because Esau Esau you know he controls the the media he controls the the radio you know he pretty much controls the vibration of this place and if you aren't spiritually minded you're going to uh, succumb to the vibration of Esau and, and, and the vibration of this world all right and if you are a friend of this world, then, hey, you're an enemy of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, so uh, Ephesians 6 and 12, and it reads, it says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Okay, and uh, the spiritual wickedness in high places represents uh, the, these government officials, uh, this uh, you, you, uh, the president that you people uh, voted for, your modern day Caesar, uh, uh, Mr. Creepy Joe. Um, uh, uh, the rulers of darkness it represents those the elites, man. All right, the 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 one percent, so to speak, the the bankers that's controlling the money, controlling the narrative of this world, man. All right, and and and. And ways that they implement their powers, their dark powers, all right, is, is through the uh, television, through the music, uh, through the scare tactics, through the news, you know. So this is what uh, uh, the, the children of Israel wrestle against every day because, for one, them not being rooted, all right, on, on solid foundation. Hey, if you don't stand for something, you're going to fall for anything. And and, and our people have um, fell in for all of these uh, sh shenanigans that Esau has presented them now before i read the uh, prayer that, that it came with in the um the inspiration in the other prayer part it's got a real quick precept okay this is uh second corinthians uh let me see second corinthians 2 and 11 and 11 second corinthians 2 and 11 it says lest satan should get advantage of us we are not ignorant of his devices all right and see satan has truly took an advantage and when we start talking about satan we're talking about uh esau man all right because these are they, that they represent the synagogue of satan man all right the, the wicked man all right and he has totally taken advantage of our people man all right but we that, that hopeful humble fearful elect we're not ignorant of this devil's devices man all of these scare tactics man his news his, his false news uh his um his his uh, medicine, his poison that he's trying to push in people, this microchip that he's going to try to put in people, hey, the the ones that are in the know, hey, we're 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 not going to be ignorant of these devices that this devil is pushing, man. All right, and that's why the scriptures say, lest Satan should get advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, because pretty much uh, uh, the God of this world. Matter of fact, let me get one more quick precept, Second uh, Corinthians four and three. Right. It says, um, but Second Corinthians four and three. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, man. The ones who Satan uh, has control of, man, in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Mashiach, who is the image of Yahweh, should shine upon them. All right. It should shine unto them. Shalat. Once again, this is Second Corinthians four and three in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them 
which believe not. Okay, the God of this world, being Esau, man. All right, that's uh, these 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 are uh, these devils, man. That's who's controlling the narrative, the media, everything that's going on in this world. The God of this world, man. All right, has blinded, and 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 as we read in Second Corinthians two and eleven has uh taken advantage of of the, the people minds man all right because the, they know that the people aren't rooted they know that the people aren't adamantly seeking the lord you how you how shy you know that they, they pretty much are going to go with the get along you have people now saying uh uh adjusting to the new normal all right uh, uh, uh recently i saw a walgreens commercial and it was um pretty much making a mockery of saying pretty much the new normal isn't so bad after all, you know, so it's just even things like that are conditioning people to think this to think and believe that, oh, the things ain't that bad when this thing and when it's terrible, man. All right. Because this devil has pretty much uh, vaccinated a, a large population of the Israel of the Lord's chosen people, the Israelites, man. And he's continuing to, to do that, man. Now he's uh, going from the adults to the children, because now you're seeing an uproar. In uh in, in in these school systems, these fool systems, where you, you where you're having uh classrooms uh saying that a student has contracted the uh, the vid, and now they have to quarantine school for uh, weeks at a time, and so it's only going to amplify and get worse. So, uh, th that that goes back into a we are not ignorant of Satan device uh, Satan devices, the the ones that are in the know. All right, this devil has to totally taken advantage. Of the simple uh minded people man all right but second corinthians 4 and uh, 4 finishing it off in whom the god of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not lest the light of the glorious gospel of mashiach who is the image of yahweh should shine unto them okay so the only way that you're not going to fall victim to all these shenanigans that this uh, devil is trying to play and all these semantics you know the only way you're going to be able to uh uh, boy, that this Esau coming down with that great wrath is what being a follower of Yahweh by Shemal Shai, man. All right, because uh, it, it's, it's, it's the Lord that does the choosing and shines the light of truth upon you, man. All right, now here it is that uh, uh, with that light, uh, freely beginning with our apostles and our elders, and we're reciprocating and, and giving that light back out, trying to tell people this is the light that you need to hold on to, pursuing the Isaiah 33 and 6, the true wisdom and knowledge that's going to be stability of the times that we're approaching but what our people do they reject it man and, but they rather hold on to folly things man all right they rather hold on to their, their pagan holidays they rather hold on to these uh, uh bs two-third challenges that people are doing in the world instead of trying to hold on to something that's vital for salvation okay now getting back um real quick let's um once again ephesians 6 and 12 for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places now here's the uh little inspiration part right here it says the battles we face as christians now as as anointed we're going to say as anointed ones as mashiachians right because uh followers of yahweh shah mashiach okay the battle we face as as a, as the anointed ones are not physical every form of opposition be it in man or in circumstances is spiritual okay when we are faced by violent people those people have subject themselves to the influence of violent spirits okay hey because a lot of our people are are in the ways of this world man they're not trying uh the spirit of the heavenly father okay we cannot afford to not see anything uh cannot we cannot afford to see everything as spiritual but as much as we may may have many spiritual enemies we are not without defense. Yahweh has equipped us and he covers us to ensure that the enemy will never overthrow us no matter what. Okay. And that, that, that makes me think of, of that scripture that says, if it were possible, the uh, elect could be deceived. Okay. But see, this is a, a inspiration for the elect, man, because it's not possible for this devil to deceive the elect. The Lord has, he has a, a, a group of, he has his chosen. Okay. The Lord has his, his chosen. All right, many called, few chosen. Abaratazah, beginning with our apostles and our elders, on down to sincere brothers, uh, to myself, you know what I mean, and all sincere followers of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and may we be a part of that chosen, that Barkayarium, you know, that elect. All right, now, and this, it says, um, every form of opposition is, uh, be it in man or in circumstances, is spiritual, right? 
And let's get let's get a few precepts. Let's get a few precepts because this is a, a spiritual thing that we're in, man. All right. And most of our people are carnal minded and, and pretty much in the flesh, man. All right. And they're not even putting up a fight. This devil has taken advantage of them. And they pretty much uh, of just letting the devil have their way with them. Okay. As far as when it comes to this Maxine, when it comes to not pretty much submitting yourself to the Heavenly Father. All right. Uh, Romans 10 tell us that the Lord says that, hey, our people have that zeal, but not according to knowledge, man. All right. They pretty much established their own righteousness. All right. Let's get um, Romans chapter 8. And we're going to start at... We're going to start at five. OK, for uh, well. Yeah, we start at five for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. OK, and most of the people, two thirds of our people, to be exact, are pretty much after the, the, the ways of the flesh, man. All right. They're not seeking the heavenly father. While the, clearly the Lord is making his presence known. Letting you know by you seeing the chariots, by you seeing the signs, uproars of the people, World War Three on brinks, this devil coming down with a great wrath. And you still have people still operating after their flesh, man, not uh, uh, trusting in their enemy. All right. Uh, uh, trusting in these physicians of no value. Those are all things that have you still in the mind frame of the flesh, because if you were this in, in the spirit, you would know to trust in the Lord because the scriptures tell you the Lord said, don't trust man. Uh, Psalms 118 and 80 he said it's better to put your trust in him than to put your confidence in man. And uh, hey, those are your your enemy is the main man trying to give you all this uh, this this poison in your veins, man. All right. Romans eight and five. It says for they that are after the flesh do mind things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. And that's the hopeful, humble, fearful elect, man. Being in the spirit, man. All right. Leaning and trusting on you. How about Shim How shy, man? All right. Our true power, our true salvation, man. All right. We're not going to um, we're not going to uh, 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 succumb to the, this devil, man. All right. We're not going to let uh, uh, Satan take advantage of us. We're not ignorant of his devices. OK. Um, Romans eight and six for to be carnal minded is death, but to be spiritual minded is life and peace. And once again, two thirds of our people have totally been carnal minded, man, because they haven't been seeking after the Lord. It's a carnal thing to trust in your enemy. It's a carnal thing. It's foolish. It's wicked. That word carnal goes into lewd behavior, foolishness, man. All right. And, and, and that all ties into being wicked. So it's a foolish thing to trust in your enemy and have a carnal mind to go get this damn jab, man. All right. To, um, to, to, to compromise your salvation just so you can so-called uh, be hip to the new normal. All right. And I'm, I'm doing air quotations, new normal. Okay. Which, which and that's, uh, playing off of the new world order, man, that, that in that, that in that NWO, man. All right. That new normal sounds awful a lot like the new world order, man. All right. Because pretty much this devil wants to just, uh, pretty have everyone in control. You know, right? he, he doesn't want people, uh, to, to, uh, call on their, their true power. All right. And, and pretty much that's the way the Lord has it set up, man. We right now we can clearly see that the Lord is making this separation, man. All right, of who, of who uh, he's dealing with and who he's not dealing with, man. You know, because uh, most the majority of our people, two thirds to be exact, hey, they're they're in the ways of the world, man. They're in the flesh, man. They're not even trying to be spiritual at all, man. All right, and that also goes for you, uh, uh people that are, oh, I love the Lord so much, and uh, uh, in those harlot houses and. and and claiming that you know the Lord and claim professing that you know the Lord, but to do things the Lord commands you, you don't do it, man. All right. And, and when you, to hear the true words of the Lord's prophets, you, you shun those down, man. All right. And, but you clinging on to everything that, that a, a false prophet or a false pastor is telling you, man. All right. If you're a true believer of the most high, then you're supposed to trust in the Lord, man. When has the Lord left anyone that trusted in him confounded? Okay. I'll wait. We, you know, we, we'll be waiting forever to try it because you can't get it. The Lord has never left anyone confounded that's truly trusted in him. OK, so this is um, Romans 8 and 6 again. For to be carnal minded is death, but to be spiritual minded is life and peace. All right. And that's the hopeful, humble, fearful elect. Those prudent minds. All right. That's crowned with knowledge, man. This is how we found our life and peace, man, because hey, when you're in the spirit, you understand uh, that this hell state of mind that we're in, you understand that the spirit of prophecy, you understand that uh, uh, this is going to translate to our salvation. All right. This Pete, like it's going to be pursuing back to Isaiah 33 and 6 is the only thing that keeps us uh, stable. 
All right. Uh, Romans 8 and 7. Because the carnal mind is empathy against Yahweh. You see that? The carnal mind is enmity against Yahweh, man. For it is not subject to, to the law of power of Yahweh, neither indeed can be. You see that? So the carnal mind is pretty much opposition to the Lord, man. All right. So uh, when you're uh, wrestling against these uh, wickedness in high places, if you don't have your um, your, your, uh, your spiritual uh, mind frame, then you're going to pretty much succumb to, to your flesh, man. All right. And, and that's going to put you in the mind state of having a carnal mind and, and having that carnal mind is 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 uh, opposite of what Yahweh Yahweh Shai uh, uh, commands. OK, real quick, let's get uh, wisdom of Solomon one and four real quick. Look what it says. Wisdom of Solomon one and four it says for into a malicious soul. Wisdom shall not enter nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. OK, so. A lot of our people have malicious souls, uh, carnal-minded. Okay, so you, like so, so this wisdom can't even enter into your body, man, because you've already pretty much submitted yourself to the ways of this world. You're uh, uh, the opposition of the Most High. Okay, um, uh, let's get back to this right quick. Uh, read this quick prayer that they put, and it says uh, this prayer going with this Ephesians six and twelve was pretty heavy. It says, "Dear Yahweh." Every day the enemy tries to attack your children through other people, authorities, and other influences. Father, in times where the fight may seem like too much, I ask that you help us push through. May we never forget that we already have the victory because we are in Mashiach. In Yahweh Shai's name, I pray. Aman. You see that? And that's a beautiful prayer right there too, man. All right? Of course, you know, they got uh, uh, JC in, in there, but, you know, we filter that out and we we put the right name in there man all right and, and Yahweh Shai's name you know what i'm saying we we pray amen all right and it says um uh, 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 uh people the lord's children are attacked through other people and authorities and other influences and who are those authorities this government all right your modern day government these are uh, physicians of no value other influences including these damn celebrities and and and, and they know that our people are going to uh, uh follow those ways man all right, so that's why the scriptures say we spiritual wickedness in high places because this devil has uh, has has so many um of the Lord's people pretty much promoting this this poison and promoting ways of the world for him. And what do our people do? They they follow right after them, man. Instead of following the Holy One of Israel, man. Instead of following uh, uh, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man. All right. Instead of following the men that the Most High have set up to be uh, the, the blueprint of the blue uh, the, to be the, uh, the, the the blueprint on, on this earthly level of of ways to walk like the Heavenly Father that are pleasing, man. Ways to, to change and pretty much get your, yourself in order, man. All right. Because as time is nearing up, we're in the final seconds of this thing. Hey, man, a lot of people are going to be caught with their damn pants down when the Lord returns like a thief in the night. All right. And um, I'm going to close with this right here. This is. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4, all right, it says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Yahweh to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exhorted itself against the knowledge of Yahweh, okay, against the knowledge of power, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Mashiach, okay, so, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, man. So we're not going to be carnal minded. We're going to battle this thing with the spirit, man. All right, with with this with these scriptures, man. All right, we're going to stay in the spirit because we don't. Hey, we we cast this devil down through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shah with these words, with the Lord's words, man. All right, because this is our power. This is where our strength is right here. All right, this is where it is. And it, as the scripture said, casting down all these imaginations. This uh this Esau imagine it's going to be a, a NWO New World Order. You know what I mean? And, and, and exhorting himself against the Most High and, and, and the knowledge, and even uh, ha having two thirds, uh, uh, even people amongst the circumcision are part of that number that are exhorting themselves or opposing to the Most High. Pretty much as we just read, the Lord said that's the empathy with him. All right. If you're in a carnal state of mind. So, a hey, the prophets, a hey, Abba Rada Zawi, those men, beginning with our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone, and hey, we're casting all that down, man. All right. Casting all that, anybody that opposing themselves. Against the true knowledge of, of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. All right. And it says, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Mashiach, man. 
All right. Hey, uh, submitting your mind correctly to Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Uh, 2 Corinthians 10 and 6. And having the readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Okay. So, hey, we learn these scriptures through the power and the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Hey, he set up our apostles and our elders, man. And so with readiness, man, we re we revenging all disobedience that people try to uh, buck up against, man. Hey, and, hey, if they get it. They got it. Hey, Abaradazai, hey, they, they take this word and they run fast with it. But if they want to um, reject it, hey, at the end of the day, you're rejecting Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. And inevitably, the Most High already rejected you because he doesn't want you, man. But we are here to defend the gospel, man. All right. In the proper way, man. All right. So as I said, just wanted to make a quick video uh, getting on this, uh, this particular verse. Ephesians 6 and 12, and uh, Abarat's eye was good nourishment to the house of David. So I want to close out by saying, Call Halayam La Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekhak Wadash, double honors to our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone who teach and who rule well. And Shalom Wam to the hopeful, humble, fearful elect of you brothers across the four corners of this earth, pushing this word with our righteousness and sincerity. Shalom Wam to all you sincere followers and believers, you, uh, the few Aquas that sincerely follow and believe and trust in Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Till the next time, shalom.